I am using right here um, on um, on the camera right now, like you probably have seen on my videos. I use the Fuel um, Ultra Bright 4K 7-inch monitor, and I found this one once again. Fuel F7 Pro. Um, what's the difference now? That is isn't called Pro, but this is called Pro. 3D load touchscreen. I thought they both were. Hmm. Funny enough, this is slightly cheaper. But why? All right, guys. Welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today we are looking at this guy the Fuel 7 F7 Pro it says on camera direct on monitor is that really what it's for? Alright if you're new here I would love you to subscribe to the channel because here we do music movies, tech reviews, short films um, entertainment the whole nine basically if you love to watch movies or learn how to make movies then this is the channel for you um, really we are coming to making movies okay coming soon but for now we are still gearing up a lot of gearing up to do it says on camera director monitor can a director really use a monitor on camera unless he's the one shooting well they're just trying to sell the product this you can use as on camera but it's reused it's as director's monitor you know why this isn't as bright as the 7 inch ultra bright that is 2200 nits this is I think 400 that won't sell this right now so they're not putting it forward uh, but you ask me why did you get it then? I will stick to using this as a director's monitor that he holds close to himself He's not challenged by the brightness of the exterior unboxing is on right now So just a full disclaimer Fuel did not send this to me however Amazon did so I can do the review and it will be free of every, how do you call it now, influence from free work. So anyway, I got this for free. I'm going to say my honest review and I'm going to give the feedback accordingly. Okay. So this thing comes, um, packaging list, it says monitors, sunshade. Oh, you see now, just like I guessed. Sunshade is there because you need it. The, the needs isn't that much, so you will need the sunshade to make if you're ex, um, if you're outdoors. Indoors you probably not need it, but definitely for outdoors. HDMI cable, mm -hmm, lovely. Um, mini hot shoe mount adapter, okay, and the manual, which I, I guess this is okay. So now let's look for those things listed. The 7 inch, did they not say 7 inch? It's already feeling like it's small. This is interesting. So, I'm going to show you a video side by side. By side. Wow, I see why this might be some, this might be a catch for some people. It is light. It is light and it's small. Some things that I've been having issues with on the Fuel World um, Ultra Bright, getting access to the power cable underneath is actually a problem when it's mounted on. I'll show you what I mean. Let me take a, a shot. This monitor can only be powered using that 12 volt, unless you want to use battery from behind. That 12 volt spot is blocked off when mounted. Okay? The 8 volts here won't power the camera 
I won't power the monitor. It's meant to be um, power for camera. So you can power the camera from there, but you can't power the monitor from that. This is for the monitor. It needs 12 volts. It's a more powerful device than most cameras. Even the Pocket 6K Pro. Yes, it is. On this one now, however, they got it all cleared out. Um, however, the on button is still here. The on button is still here. The menu button is below, which is going to be weird. I don't know how weird that is menu it comes on and then you it's it has the knob you know it has this knob over here and uh, power and touch screen option um, over here once again it can mount um, this device the transmitter which I also love on the other one okay so this is always a plus it gets it not only mounts it it powers it so this thing now doesn't need to be powered any other way this one looks a little bit bigger now because they gave some space around the screen but actually the screen itself is the same thing so they they did a good job making this lighter and all this stuff now is on the side the hdmi the power 12 volts and um DC out 8 volts, 12 volts, same thing on this side now. And on this side, you have a side mounting option. You have a mounting option here, more mounting option than that now. So um, that was bottom and side, which I didn't like. Your, your director, you know, is gonna be holding on to this thing most of the time. Sometimes we have it on a stand. That's more like for the big screens. But for you, for this one, usually you want to be mobile and you want it to be light. So this makes sense for it to be light. So I think I'm, I'm going to enjoy having this. Okay. And sometimes when you know you're not going to be outdoors and you want to stay lighter, you probably want to even take this because it's the same HD arrow device. Um, not super bright, but you know you'll be fine because um, you're going to be indoors anyway. Plus you have a hood. You know, sometimes if, if it's cool up the day, you probably still want to use this. You know, weight is a big issue in this industry. You know, sometimes you want to stay light. So that's the advantage. It is really small. It almost looks like a five inch or five and a half or six inch, but it is a seven inch. Another advantage of this is it would last a lot longer. Now, most likely the director will be powered by a battery so so let's do that based on how it should be used and this is going to last a lot longer now all he does is hold it you could cage it up if you want it becomes heavier or you could even use lighter batteries would you say would you prefer this over that if you're buying just one I personally would go for the ultra bright if I'm buying one but if you need a second uh, monitor for a director's monitor then I will go for this and sometimes when you are indoors and um, you know that um, you don't have um, problems looking at the light I will go I'll put this on the camera and have the director use this one you know uh, and be lighter you know it's just food for thought one of the fantastic things about this um, monitor is it can be powered by an ordinary power bank five volts it's all you require i was wrong the power stays on top which is the better um the money the uh, menu is on top the power is on top so i, I guess i flipped it uh sd, SD card is at the bottom so you put it one time and you don't that's that that makes sense i think they just made a little bit of uh alterations maybe people complained uh, but this is definitely looking better now uh, besides the ultra bright screen that we lost okay which is not necessary for a director's monitor given that you have the hood remember we haven't finished unboxing so let's look for this is the frame and this is the actual nothing else is in there okay so Let's take this off. Ooh. Let's 
group it up and group it up and do the same under it and do the same here okay now we got a group yeah we hear it snapping in place yep so this is nice this can go on the on the camera most of the time even outdoors I love both of them and I'm happy I'm happy that I have both these guys are perfect good quality good price and either way you can't go wrong depending on your needs you want to stay light go for this so thank you guys for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next uh, in the next video